like two days ago, I woke up, scrimmed with the academy team, you know, out of scrims, playing solo queue, yeah. and then, you know, I'm told at like 7 p.m., 8 p.m. at night yeah. that I'm playing tomorrow. I was like, wow, just last two days has just been crazy. This interview is brought to you by Trolley Gummy Worms. Do you want one? Sure. Go for it. There's a lot. Bam. All right, we start this interview off with a shout out to Clerky. Shout out to Daniel Clerky. Thank you, Dan. Hopefully you're doing well, bless up, you know, blah, 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 nice house. Can you believe <laughs> it? Owning a home in 20 whatever, 2023. Have you met his dog? I have not, not met his dog, no. I just watch his videos of him like just climbing. Like, just a know? big pit bull. Oh, Just like probably 100 pounds, just full muscle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder what he's eating as we eat a couple more of these probably <laughs> gummy worms. Um, APA, everyone. How do, we, how do we say your first name? My first name? Yeah. It's just Ian. It is Ian. Yes. But it's not spelled like Ian. No, it's not. How is it spelled? E-A-I-N. E-A-I-N. So, Ain, or Ain. Uh, it really threw me off. Yeah. Is, are you Irish? Uh, Descent? No, I'm kind of just a mix of everything. Okay. The story, or I don't even know if it's a story. My mom just wanted it to be like, in a sense, like a uni unique name. Like, mm -hmm. originally it was going to be E-O-I-N, mm -hmm. but... If I remember, she thought that was too like feminine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and so they went with an A instead of an O. So yeah, okay. it's just pronounced Ian, but just spelled a little bit differently. All right. There it is. Uh, for those of us that don't, APA is too much. Also, <laughs> it, it stands for always plan a hey -a. Yeah. There's no D. No D. Why? It's just like an ironic name. OK. You know, I was like, you're typing it out, and you didn't plan ahead. Ah. It's, it's just irony. <laughs> Also, if you spell that and hit the D, you would burn one of your summoner spells. Do you flash on D or flash on F? <laughs> flash on D. Okay. So I would burn. Uh, I would burn flash. flash too. I would. I've definitely done that before. <laughs> um, rage typing. You. Speaking of typing, you. <laughs> a little all chatter here. A little bit. Yeah. I mean, you, you show up on stage. You take a job. You then bully the tenth place mid laner. <laughs> after you're winning, do you normally all chat? Uh, so last split, I didn't. But then I played versus Dplex, who was on or was on both C9 teams. Yeah. And then he all chatted me a lot, and I realized it affected me a lot. Ah. So I'm like, oh, this is just like, not only is it kind of fun to all chat, in my opinion, but it also <laughs> gets in like people's heads. Sure. Did anyone on Immortals chat back to you? Uh, don't recall. Okay. Because I mute them. Because <laughs> like I said, I know it affects me. Like, I'm sure if I've had a bad game, and I don't know who I face next week, yeah. but I'm sure whoever it is, just like, let's say I get solo could by their mid, and he types mid gap or something, like, that'll tilt me a little bit, so. You're, you're not, you're probably, mm, you're probably not going to play him again, but Balulu is the nicest guy in the league. Please don't do that again. That is my <laughs> request as someone who has no authority over these things, other than judging <laughs> if they're nice or not. Um, how about that for a fucking debut, man? Yeah, th these last two days have just been like so crazy. Yeah. Like two days ago, I woke up, scrimmed with the academy team, you know, out of scrims, playing solo queue. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm told at like 7 p.m., 8 p.m. at night yeah. that I'm playing tomorrow. I was like, wow, just last two days has just been crazy. Yeah. Uh, how souped up are you, are you on energy drinks? Or is this all? Because I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, guys, but like, Ian's like moving. He's moving. His legs um, twitching. When he's talking, he's doing this thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so Teal has is sponsored by Monster. Yep, that's and why I said a, energy drinks. Yeah, they have a yeah. Monster fridge. Yeah, and I definitely abuse that. Okay, all right. Uh, like even on even when I was on Academy, it'd be at least one a day. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I watched the interview yesterday. I think they asked you about. Did you ever dream that it would be like this? And then they like didn't let you talk about your dream. So tell me what you originally thought your dream LCS debut was when you started playing pro, or started playing on this path. I think the Wikipedia has like 2019. It was like your uh, first like competitive team. Well like competitive, but like fake competitive. Yeah, yeah. it was just with friends. Yeah. But I think like, obviously I wouldn't want to start the way I did because like, I don't want to like just take someone's spot. Sure. I'd ideally, you know, start at the start. Yeah. So all the wins are like I feel are mine. Or yeah. All the losses are mine as well. Yeah. But like, I don't know. Yesterday's debut game was crazy. Like, I was really <laughs> nervous in lane, but uh, like after lane, I just started smurfing in team fights. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, it's hard to ask for a better debut game. It also wasn't like a, a game where they rolled over and died. Yeah. Ne- neither, neither one of these. They, mm-hmm. You were in control, but yeah. they Still weren't rolling fights. over. And yeah, yeah, and it gave you opportunities to, to, to show what you could do. I mean, mm-hmm. you got the kill in the mid lane here today against Quid, who everyone's been speaking relatively high of uh, in terms of scrim results and trying yeah. to change it over there. But, I mean, I, I really don't remember too many other debuts that are better than that. You got player of the game yesterday. You finished the week with like a 30-something KDA. Yeah, I haven't yet to die yet, which is crazy. Yeah, like it's, it's kind of nuts. How much of that is attributed to how the team has supported you so far? Uh, they've definitely been extremely supportive. Like at the very start, they asked me, um, what champions are you comfortable on? Because they sure. don't want to like try to force me to play meta in a sense. I mean, sure. you saw like I played Ziggs today. Yeah, they, they asked me like, what champions are you comfortable on? I gave a list of like you know five six champions. I said I can blind these champions. I can counter pick with these champions, and then they try to draft around that. Yeah, dang, the, they're they're making it. I mean, they made it work. That's pretty yeah. cool. And again, a little different. The playoffs bound 100 Thieves compared to Immortals who was searching for a win. So doing it again today was pretty impressive. Is this going to be a a game plan moving forward, trying to catch people out with these pocket picks or <laughs> awkward uh, picks? I definitely have a few pocket picks. Yeah. But also, like, I think as I get more comfortable mm. within, like, LCS stage and LCS uh, scrims, I'll just, like, pull out more and more meta picks. So, yeah. you know, like, I did play a, pretty much all the meta picks in Academy. Yeah. It was just, like, I wanted to be like the most mechanically comfortable on like a set few champions at the start so i wasn't you know coming on stage and just oh 10 running it down yeah yeah insta benched again yeah uh tell me what the biggest misconception about the lcs team was that you had that once you got bumped up it was like oh okay it's not like that uh i'll be honest i don't know like what are conceptions about them right now well i mean that you thought i mean you're there on the uh academy team you're like well what are they doing that we're not doing and then you get there and you're like oh they are doing this or um, maybe they're not doing it the same way that we were doing it just the biggest difference then and i know you've only had two, two days of scrims uh, it's not even like two days it's been like two days of like night box mm-hmm. so it's like we've had three four games so far yeah. honestly it's really hard to tell right now just because it's like it's just really early mm. like we've not really scrimmed and then the games so far have felt fine like it feels just like we're winning lane and then our comps are just good mm-hmm. to win the game all right but it's hard to tell right now yeah draft king draft kingdom over there by with rain over yeah rain over draft rain over and dodo um coach dodo man i feel like what did dodo tell you do you remember like the verbiage or who gave you who gave you the call who gave you the call that you're gonna bump up? uh dodo and spawn the academy coach oh i love spawn Spawn's great. Uh, what was that conversation? Uh, was it short? Do you remember specifically what they short. said? It was pretty Like, I finished a solo key game. They dragged me into, like, one of the review rooms privately. Did you know? When, when it was like, hey, come uh, to the review room. Not really. Like, mm. what did you think it was? I was honestly thinking I did, like, something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, I honestly didn't know. It's like... I, yeah, I just didn't know. I just finished solo key game, you know, just after scrims. I knew the LCS guys lost. Yeah. But, like, yeah, I just had no clue. They dragged me in. They sat me down. And then, like, I believe it was Dodo. Just this first sentence said, you're being promoted to the LCS team. And then it's like a three, four, five-minute conversation. Mm-hmm. Nothing along. Yeah. Uh, which one of your Tier 2 experiences helped you grow the most? I think, in general, this split. Or like last split, I was just basing a lot of like on laning phase stuff and like personal stuff to like make sure I'm like up to par in a sense of uh, academy. Yeah. But now it's just been like this past split, I would say, is big key because I was focusing a lot on like map movement mm-hmm. and just like tempo and all that like like Mac related stuff, and like I feel like that's a big key because when I bumped up into LCS team. I was doing like all the correct movements, even though you know necessarily we're not doing, we're not speaking the same language. I was just like you know, in right spots and right times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Shout outs to the academy squad and uh, Coach Spawn mm-hmm. and uh, I guess and the rest of the team that put you in the position. Blippo has been helping out a little bit as well. Okay. Yeah. So Blippo. Blippo. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks, Blippo, as well. All right. Um, who have you kind of been? On your ascendancy here, who have you been keeping an eye on within North America as like other mid laners to take habits from? 
Uh, I learned a lot from, so when Champski was a thing, I don't know if it's coming back, hopefully, when like MNS and Joji Pune would queue up Champski, mm -hmm. I would like, I would try to snipe them. It's pretty hard because they have like the LCS priority thing. Yeah. So like sometimes it would, sometimes it wouldn't. Yeah, I would just try to snipe them and play with them. And they would honestly kind of run me. <laughs> <laughs> if I like, it, it was just like, I would just learn a lot of them. Yeah. Like just playing lane versus them. They're like just very talented learners. Yeah. Does that mean Korean boot camp coming soon to get the level up that they had? Because I mean, JoJo did that for this last split and uh, hit the ground running. Isn't Worlds in Korea? Worlds is in Korea. So hopefully. There it is. Look at that. All right. I love how you leveled up your uh, confidence and cockiness. And I've been, <laughs> I've been asking harder questions because APA's Twitter is like, you know, in yeah, the stories. One of my one of my friends DM me on Discord, like the picture of me and P.O. is like, like reclined during the pause. <laughs> <laughs> and so, oh, like, I'm going to tweet this, and then when does LCS get hard? Uh, yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. Uh, you can start the scheduling tweets now. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell me a story about an old teammate. Any, any time period of yours, any team that you've been on. Um, you can tell me a funny story, a dirty story, uh, you know, whatever. Let's keep it non-bannable. Non-bannable. Yeah, yeah. non-bannable. It could still be, like, dirty, which is non-bannable. I think probably the funniest... Or it's really funny to me now, like in hindsight. Yeah. Was with me and a player named Fanatic. I was on. Of course, we know Barrage Fanatic. And Barrage and A. Yeah. Yeah, Barrage and Resolve with him. Mm -hmm. And it was when Lucian was meta and Fanatic was trying out. I'm going to call him Fan. Fan was trying out Fiddlesticks. Okay. And he. TLDR of the play is he ganked top in a time where I said to gank mid. And I got really upset at him at the time. And I think we argued for like an hour. Just like. We're arguing like towards each other. I was arguing past him. Like I'd say my point, he'd say his point, and then we like, just went in a circle for like an hour. And like during the time, I was really angry. But like in hindsight, it's it was just really really funny. Yeah. Uh, what was everyone else doing at the time? They're just like they would try to like fix what we were talking about, but we would just we were so like angry at each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably the funniest story I have. Since joining, I guess, more of a uh, structure, you know, TL, mm -hmm. and Maryville after that, because you, you joined Maryville after that, uh, has that helped with your conflict resolution skills? Oh, yeah, of course. Like, going to college, like, in person for a year, definitely, like, just taught me just socially, like, everything. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to say I was, like, socially inept or anything. Sure. But, you know, like, just being around everybody for 16 hours a day, pretty much. Just yeah. like, yeah, it just helped out everything. Yeah, yeah, it's a fast track for how to be around different types of personalities, yeah. how to tackle different types of conflicts and things that you thought were immovable objects maybe exactly mm -hmm. aren't. And so, yeah, totally get it. And again, shout out to Clarky over there. <laughs> uh, final, final question, who are you most looking forward to putting in the dumpster? Uh, I mean, it's probably... I don't know if I face them, MNS or Jojo Pian. I don't. I literally have not looked at the schedule, so don't know. But I'm looking forward to facing both of them. This is this is the beginning of the second half. Who who did TL play in week one? I was not paying attention. Like I was like I was paying attention not to the week games. one. Who uh, on on week Wednesday? Four. On Wednesday. Uh, NRG. Okay. So then you got them both on the schedule. Nice. Yeah. All right. There you go. MNS and Jojo Pian on notice. Is that okay if I say that? Yeah, no, you're fine. All right. I'm looking forward to those matches. Yeah, I can't wait. When you do it, you'll have your own jersey as well. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is your jersey. Oh, this I is... hope you keep this one. Yeah. I hope you keep this and frame it with well, the tape. No, 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 with the tape, with the tape. Yeah. I don't want, oh, is it Rainovers? Yeah. Okay, all so right. So maybe I have to give it back to him. <laughs> maybe he wants it. <laughs> they better make another one for Rainover. <laughs> you should keep this one. <laughs> Quick t tidbit, and people at home might not care, but like when I played soccer in the Philippines professionally, I came in in the middle of this the season, okay. and they gave me someone else's jersey. I was like, "All right, am I am I going to get my name on the back?" And I remember putting tape on it and Ryan <laughs> Gonzalez on the back, and that's what I have framed in my house. So uh, definitely keep that. Yeah. All right, brother. If, uh, if I can, I w I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to I'll talk to Ray Horry. He has so many jerseys, man. Like, come on, man. Uh, Thank you for your time. Congrats on this brilliant, brilliant uh, debut and um, really cherish this moment. And again, this means a lot to not just hopefully just you or the team, but like 
to, to the North American fan yeah. base, to everyone that is believed like proving in. Proving any talent does exist. Yeah, Proving Grounds, all that stuff. I, you know, all of the uh, Proving Grounds guys are super pumped for you, as well as me being able to see your growth all the way up. So congrats, yeah. man, and uh, enjoy the ride. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Degon Esports. And you know, it hasn't always been easy getting my thrills, since I'm a one-man band doing everything here. So to get my thrills, I get them from Trolley Gummy Worms. You know, they want nothing more than for you to bite into their delicious, sour heads and bodies into pieces. Mm. Personally, I like the raspberry blueberry flavor. It's really good. You should go ahead and get your own. Check it out and get the mind warping, tongue twisting, sour thrills only at trolley.com. All right. For more, keep it locked here on Degon Esports. Now you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to get up. You no, know, it's all good. Anything. It's all good. All right, man. Congrats. Right, thank you. Yeah.